just gonna show you guys really quickly that it's still not working and everything. It ain't my fault. Hey guys, it's Roxy. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my first vlog with braces on. Oh my gosh. So if you guys didn't know, I got braces. And if you want to see all of that and the process and everything, that was my last vlog. So you're open to check that out if you want to. But anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my GoPro. I got a GoPro in June of this year and it's amazing. I love GoPros. They are so good. As you guys know, I was making GoPro videos. That's like what I do on my channel, pretty much. I film with my GoPro or my phone, but usually my GoPro. I just make fun little videos for you guys and things like that, as you guys know. And so a while ago in like July, I posted a video on like com basically complaining about my GoPro. It wasn't working, it wasn't turning on and things. And I was wondering if like anyone else had that problem and like what do I do? And so I just wanna tell you guys a little bit about that because it was a very hard process and it was really annoying and it was really tough to go through so if you ever have problems with your GoPro if you're having problems with your GoPro right now these are some of the things that you may have to go through and I just wanted to post this to help people so you may not be able to relate at all so you might not want to listen to this video but I'm just going to be talking about the, tr the troubles that I had with my GoPro and then how I fixed it and how GoPro handled it and everything. How, um, how it started acting up was I was at a party, uh, a summer pool party in July and it was my friend's birthday and so Brianna and I were filming underwater stuff like I normally do. Okay, I'm filming. So yeah, we were filming stuff underwater and it was all it was all what I usually do like nothing new but then underwater it my GoPro turned off which the GoPro Hero 5 is waterproof without a case um, it's just waterproof itself I didn't have a protective case or anything because it's just waterproof you don't have to have a case on it so I did everything correctly how I was supposed to how I had been doing it for my past underwater videos. So I didn't do anything wrong. And at first I was like, well maybe it's dead, but then I remembered that I had fully charged it and it was probably at like 70 at this point percent. And so I wasn't sure why it wasn't turning on. So I tried it several times and then I was like, whatever, I'm gonna put it away, I'm gonna enjoy the party. So I only got a few clips of when we were there and I was actually really disappointed because I wanted to use it like I had only had it for like a month and it was already acting up and it was really annoying I was like okay well this is weird so I enjoyed the party and then when I came back home I charged it because two of my friends were sleeping over and then we were going out on my boat and I wanted to film on that so I charged it I, I was still thinking well maybe it's just dead maybe it wasn't at 70% and it's just dead so I plugged it in and I go to turn it on in the morning to see if it's like all good and I'm just gonna throw it in my beach bag and then I will use it when I want to use it. I unplugged it and then I went to turn it on and it had no response and I was like well what the hell. So I brought it even though it wasn't turning on and I tried it a little bit on the boat but it wasn't working and I was like well this is great I'm not going to be able to film and I was really really disappointed and it's, it was really aggravating too because I had just gotten my GoPro like only a month I had had it and it was just really annoying so then I made a video which you guys can still go watch it's still up on my channel public and everything and I was just kind of complaining <laughs> in that video I was just like explaining what was going on if like anybody else was having those problems or if anyone could like help me out I don't like I didn't know what to do I was trying everything I was trying all the buttons and I was charging it and things you're only supposed to like turn the power button like hold it down for like two minutes but I would do it for like 10 and things and I would find YouTube videos but they weren't helpful it still like was not responding at all so yeah I made that video so if you guys want to check that out you can you don't have to though because it's basically just explaining um, what I just explained for like a whole four five minutes I don't know how long it is I forget but yeah you guys can watch that if you want to but you don't have to so then we take it back to where I purchased my GoPro which was Best Buy and uh, they tried it out and they were doing the same things that I was trying and it didn't respond and they said that there's only like a 20 day 
return policy or whatever so they couldn't exchange it they couldn't take it and then get me a new one so then i had to contact gopro and gopro was really really hard to reach for a while there and so they would help me over the phone they would tell me to try things that i had already tried and it just was really aggravating so then i just kept on trying things i'd like um i was on the phone for them probably i was on the phone with them probably three times in total or four i'm not sure but basically what they ended up doing was they told me to send my gopro not the battery or the sd card just the gopro itself to them so i did that they had to receive it and that took a really long time. So then they sent me one and they actually messed up my order. They sent me two GoPros instead of one because I think I had like two number cases or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I got two GoPros, but I only use one because I would have to get another SD card and another battery for the other one they sent me. So I just used one that they sent me. Well, I got a brand new GoPro. I was unboxing it. I was like, wow, this is great. Just like put the battery in, put the SD card in. I charged it and it's all good. I have continued making GoPro videos. If you guys have that problem, it's going to be hectic. What I would tell you to try is to go to where you got your GoPro. So like, for example, I purchased mine at Best Buy and I went there and they couldn't exchange it because like you weren't allowed to. There's like a day limit a certain day limit that would be the first thing that i would try if you're having problems with your gopro second thing i would try would be gopro obviously so there's pretty much only two options i would think of also try to watch youtube videos because they were kind of helpful like i thought it would help but it just didn't my gopro i don't know something was wrong with it it wasn't the battery but it was like the gopro itself like it just wasn't responding i don't know if water got into it or something but i did everything that i was supposed to do um, I didn't damage it. It just had a problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to let me know. If you're having problems with your GoPro, you can ask me any questions down below and I will respond back to you. I just wanted to make this video to be helpful if any of you guys are having problems with your GoPro. So thank you for watching. Bye. Peace out. I will see you in my next video.